Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to show you me wiring my bonsai and trying to get a better shape with the branches. So I've already done it with this lower one down here just to try it out and it seems to work quite well. You can see I've twisted around the wire and because of that I can now adjust the shape so you can see here if I bend that up it stays up. If I bend it down it stays more down. So I'm just using this to get a nicer shape. So I think this one I'm just going to have it weeping slightly like that, maybe a bit more to the side, like so. Just get a nice shape on it. So the next one I'm going to do is this branch over here. This one, Let's see if I can get a nice position to show you. So you can see this one, I'd like it more down like that. So at the moment, it's pointing up a lot, but I'd like to have it down because I think it'll look nicer in a slightly weeping position. So first of all I've got my wire, it's one millimeter aluminium. And I'll start off by just putting it like so on the branch. Just along, as you can see there, just let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I'm just having it along the branch, and then what I'll do is I'll wrap it around the main trunk to get a good anchor point. So I'll now wrap it around the main trunk here. So I'll just thread it through like so. Be careful not to catch any other branches as I as I thread it. So there it is. It's wrapped around the main trunk. I'll just put that a bit lower around the other little one there. So there we are. So the wrapping it around the main trunk will give it a good anchor point. And the next thing I'm going to do is put this piece up the trunk and that will also form as an anchor, which I will then wrap this main bit of wire around. So I'm just going to wrap it around carefully. I'm going to have it quite tight, but you don't want it really tight because it will start to dig into the bark and you'll leave nasty spiral shaped scars on the, on the tree. So the first one I'm just going to wrap straight round like that. And that will actually make sure that the wire is tied in and anchored in. So now I can just start wrapping it around. Now this wire is quite thin, so it's probably not quite thick enough to actually bend the, 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 the thickest part of this of this uh, branch but it will certainly be th strong enough to do the, the ends of the branch where it is slightly thinner. So what I will do for those sections, for the thicker section is I will probably do like a, an anchor from the bottom of the pot or from a lower branch and put it tight and pull it down from that. So I'll just wrap this up now. There we are, that's it all wrapped over the, the stem of the plant. And now if I pull it down, you can see it's staying lower and getting a better shape like that. And I'll just curve the end right down as well. Give it a nice weeping habit. There we are. So as you can see, that's brought the branch down quite nicely. Got a more of a weeping shape. And what I'll do is I'll actually use the end of this wire to hold it down onto this lower branch down here. So this branch, the end of the wire, I'm going to hold it down to this lower branch so that way that it will keep that position because at the moment it's trying to pop up as my wire is not thick enough. So there we are. I'd like to put the, so that's the thinner part of the, of the, of the branch and the shape I'd like, but I'd like the thicker part here to come a bit further down and it won't do that with this wire because this wire is not strong enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it from the top and anchor it to a part lower down on the plant. So to anchor this one down, I'm just going to tie it off here where it starts to thin slightly, basically just at the end of the thickest part of it. Just going to wrap the wire around like so. It doesn't need tied, it should be strong enough just wrapped. And then I've got this piece of wire here, and I'll pull that down. You can see I'm getting a nicer shape when I'm pulling that down. And I'll wrap it around this lower branch down here as, as to hold it down and keep it down so it doesn't pop back up. So I'll get the tension right, about so. 
and then I'll wrap this down a couple of times so that it's tensioned and if I want to I can further tensioning, tension this by making a loop so I'll pull that down there and I'll just make a very tiny loop in the wire and twist it and what I can do is every time I want to get that tension any higher I can just twist that and it will slowly tension it but that's about as much as I really want to pull it down I don't want to pull that down any further I can just tweak that one there so it looks quite ugly with all these wires I mean I will trim off the excess because I don't need actually all that but I'll go around now and I'll wire up the rest of the plant and make it the kind of shape that I'd like So there we are, that's my, my plan fully wide as I'd like it. So what I've basically done is I want all the branches to come up and then they na I want them to naturally curve over just like this one. This one I think is the nicest shape I've got so far. Just want it to come up, look quite natural and curve down with other branches coming off it. Coming up and then curving down like that. So I'll have to keep tweaking these as it grows. I might have to put on some new wires, take some wires off and make sure the, the, if the plant's growing too much it doesn't affect the, the the bark with the wire starting to cut into it. So I'll keep an eye on this and I'll give you guys an update as to how it progresses. I'll just show you a couple of photos now, what it looked like before I, I wired it and what it looks like afterwards.